Hey guys, um, I'm gonna be doing a uh, review on this Rover Spy Tank 2.0. And when I first heard of this, I just thought I had to get my hands on it because, I mean, it seems really cool, but honestly, I'm kind of disappointed. Um, I, I think there might even be some internal problems, and they said that they would fix that, and I just think that's just how it's supposed to be. But, I mean, it's a cool subject, honestly. The fact that you can see what it sees is whatever the heck they say. But honestly, it's just, a lot of the things are faulty. Okay, so, um, the things I did like was the, um, talking bit. Um, you talk, and then whatever you say comes right back to you. Hello. Hello. Um, the thing I didn't like was, the tank has, um, a bit of a delay from when I actually move it, about, it's like a split second delay, but when you're going, it really bugs you. And the tank itself is about seven inches tall with the antenna. Um, and as you can see here, the actual movement of the tank makes quite a bit of noise on just regular flooring. So if somebody, if you were actually trying to spy on somebody for a real, it would have to be pretty bad of hearing to actually think that there was um, nobody there. Now, the cool thing I thought about this was that a camera goes up and down. Um, it can actually go up and down, but honestly, it is, um, it goes up probably about a half inch. But I guess that's better than the old one where you just only saw right in front of you. Um, uh, another cool feature. It... Um, it's pretty hard to drive, actually, I mean, since you have to do it with, the um, you have to control these, and once you're actually getting into it, it's super hard to drive. Um, I actually have been practicing a lot, and basically it consists of two, uh, lever levers that go, one goes left, and the other turns the tank right. Um, but, um... I noticed that it says on the box over here. Uh, where does it say this? It says two hundred feet wirelessly away, and I was really psyched about that. But honestly, that's false advertising. I got about seventy-five feet out of it before it just and just come just completely stopped. Just, I mean, went completely lagged and had about a second of delay. So whatever I moved, it would take one second for it to work, and it got very annoying. And it's only been on about an hour, and it's already out of six AA batteries, which is really bad for six AA batteries to only last an hour. Um, it says it has brights, but they're not even LED lights. They're just regular lights, so they're not that bright. It's not going to really make that much of a difference. I'll even show you. You can't even see it in here because it's too bright out. Um, it has the ability to um, go through walls, it says. I went through this wall, and um, I got about 20 feet out of it before it just went terrible, and it said 100 feet, so that's obviously false advertising. Um, the um, Since it had such short range on its going... That when I actually wanted to hear, it says you can hear other people's voices. I had to turn it off because when it does pick up on everything I see here, it just echoes back because it comes in from this camera as well. Or what it comes out of this camera comes in from that camera and vice versa. So it just echoes really bad. And when I get it to the point where it doesn't, it just has a second delay. So everything you do takes about a second. It's really laggy and... Kind of disappointing. Um, I thought it was very cool about the night vision, though. And I did like the ability to take pictures. I did not like how it was so tall with the antenna attached. Because you can't really sneak under a lot of things. I didn't like the fact that it was so noisy. And I did not like the fact that it was so hard to drive. I mean, it's unbearable. It's just... It's very difficult. Um, I don't know if you guys would tell, but... Driving with these things, it's very sensitive sometimes. And when you get away, it's not sensitive enough. But just going forward, it's just annoying because they just turn when you don't want them to. 
Um, let's see the, the camera quality on this bad boy. Uh, it's okay, I guess. I mean, when you turn from right here, if I left though, um, which I'll do. No, it starts to get kind of spotty, like I'm moving in right now, and it has a little bit of delay. Um, so it also has a G drive function, which makes it easier. Here's another thing um, that kind of bugged me was it um can't really go over that much terrain for an oversized tank so it couldn't even really hardly I tested it over a shirt right here and I don't even it couldn't even really get over that hardly oh actually it just gets stuck and a lot of the times backing out doesn't work the night vision worked pretty well um tested that by putting a bunch of blankets over it and then laying out something like a credit card or something colorful. So, um, I covered it completely so it's pretty dark. And this is one of the things I thought was pretty impressive was the fact that it could, the stealth made it so you could kind of catch a drift of what you were seeing. You know, you can tell that the blankets white because if it was just dark you can kind of pick up that pamphlet right there it's kind of hard to see from my camera but I can see it and yeah um, now another function the tank had was the ability to zoom in and out um, and see you can tell this is an iPhone camera so it's not that impressive and it's you can always see from its point of view the same distance away that it says John, which is my name. So from the same direction, this is the camera picks up, and you can't, you can't even see it. So they thought, oh, let's add a zooming button. It really the zooming is pointless, because the zooming in it um it's kind of like zooming in onto something when, when you take a picture. It just makes put makes it blurrier and blurrier the more you zoom in. So that's pretty useless. Um. I did like how um, you could share your point of view with Facebook and all that, but since it was so laggy, it came up kind of also laggy. Um, I would probably give this, just in the price that it costs $150 new, 6 out of 10, just because of all the flaws and major flaws. Um, um, honestly, the package says... Uh, the package says 200 f feet, but it's really 75 feet uninstructed and with uh, walls in the way, it's probably 25 feet, maybe 30. So if you're looking for something like that, um, extremely hard to drive. Uh, it's kind of annoying, though, if you flip it over because of the antenna. It, it just can break it. It's not an outdoor toy is what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, 6 out of 10 probably. Kind of disappointing on a lot of the parts. Um, if you're looking for a cheap, fun little kid toy, I guess, but it's not for real, like it was described. I mean, they have the same ones that are like $50 cheaper. And I guess if you don't mind all the huge flaws, then... You can pick it up, but I was kind of disappointed. I hope they can make a better one eventually. Because this is not perfect. Um, especially since it's just flat out false advertising. And it has its own network, but the network isn't that good. So it would be a lot better if you had an option to use your own network that was faster. So maybe that would improve it. But anyway, rate, comment, subscribe. I just... Wanted to, I didn't find any other reviews, and I just wanted to let you guys know what you were buying before you got it. Um, 
I would probably recommend one of the cheaper ones, but if you want to get this, that's fine. Just know it's not going to be perfect. Alright, thanks. Rate, subscribe. Bye-bye.